So welcome to springtime in eastern Ontario. Mother Nature, in all her wisdom, has decided to toss us back into the freezer for another week. It's about minus 10 Celsius, that's about 14 degrees Fahrenheit in here right now. Apparently we were thawing out too fast. But I gotta forge ahead, try and get some stuff done, and we're continuing work in our bee birth. There's lots of little parts, essential planning, so I don't glue my and screw myself into a corner. So in this exciting episode, there's lots of planning, taking parts out of the boat. Wait, taking parts out of the boat? Yeah, taking parts out of the boat. More battens, more sanding, more gluing, more screwing, more cutting, and did I mention? Even more sanding. So you're gonna wanna see all of this. Welcome aboard. Welcome back folks. It's another week in the old boat shed and uh, this time I'm working in the V-berth and here I'm laying out uh, what will be hatches um, in the panels that are underneath the bunks. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what was the best way to do this and uh, so what I figured out to be the easiest would just be some large flaps that uh, will be on piano hinges and flip up to access the spaces underneath. Now all of these uh, bunk panels will be removable. I don't plan on gluing them in in case I ever have to access the hull or the equipment that's below. I'm only going to show you what was done on the port side. It was exactly the same on the starboard side with a few little minor differences, but it's neither here nor there. These bunk panels were a bit awkward. They're a weird shape. They don't come out straight. I sort of had to uh, wiggle them and jiggle them and get them moving out the door. And they're fairly heavy. This is the old Maranti plywood. It's about twice as heavy as the Okumi. The next step in the process is making some battens for this uh, far forward in the hull where the angle is fairly acute. I know you all love to watch me sanding, but we'll just skip through this at double speed.
here I am gluing in the batten you just saw me make on the table saw using my uh, DeWalt caulking gun and uh, this thing's really actually a bit of a beast it's a two-handed tool for sure uh, luckily I've got a place to support the batten so I can lay out the glue I'm using short screws here to fix the batten to the hull uh, for clamping only. They'll be removed, they're just temporary. This is the following day and the temporary screws are coming out. Uh, these holes will all be backfilled with epoxy when it warms up. And here we go cutting our first panel, the old plunge cuts. This time I'm using the uh, saw guide which helps keep them on straight because you just can't do it by hand. These saw guides are actually pretty handy. Uh, these ones are cheap. I think I got them off Amazon for like 40 or 50 bucks. There's actually two four foot sections that you can join in the middle to be able to cut uh, an eight foot length of anything.
don't worry this isn't a long sanding session I'm just removing some of the fuzzies that uh, usually end up stuck in your finger um, believe me nothing hurts worse than a mahogany sliver This is a little bonus clip uh, for those of you that get your jollies from watching me sand stuff. Well, that's it for this week, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please consider giving us a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. We do truly appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I have this week. Next week, uh, if the weather warms up, there's going to be a lot more going on. So you're going to want to stay tuned and click the little bell, and you'll get notified when we publish our next video. Thanks again. Cheers.